If you're tired of using the same Google font in your UI design over and over, and you don't want to spend $100 or a few thousand dollars on a premium typeface, instead you want one for free, then I just might have the solution for you in today's video. Hey guys, it's Kaler, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at some websites with curated lists of various typefaces that have that premium look, but are completely free for personal or commercial use. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. And of course, if you're interested in content like this, I upload every single week, so make sure you hit subscribe. The first website on today's list is fontshare.com. I found this one recently, and personally, I really love the fonts on this website. A few typefaces that I've used so far are Satoshi, Clash Display looks really good and stylized in bold, and Switzer is really clean and good on headings. One of the things that I look for in a website that has fonts is the ability to type in my own text, change the theme a little bit, preview it in different weights and sizes, and really get a feel for it before I download the font. There's been countless times I've downloaded a font thinking it would look good in my project and it looks absolutely terrible because I couldn't really test it out by changing the style on the site. So that's what I really like about a site like this. On FontShare, once you found a font in the corner, just click view family. They've got a nice big bold preview of the font and then you can scroll down and look at the various weights. And even at the bottom, they have a glyph view where you can really get into the details of the type. So definitely check out fontshare.com. And of course, I'm going to recommend that you check out the licensing because there's different licenses and things change with time. So make sure you check that out for all the websites featured in today's video. Since we're looking at various different font websites today, you might get some ideas for a project or you might just want to write some of these down. A convenient place to do that and map out all of your ideas is Milanote, which is the sponsor of today's video. Milanote is a long-term sponsor here on the channel, and I pretty much use their software every day to map out and plan my creative projects. As a full stack designer, it's a crucial part of my workflow as I utilize it as a project hub. I use it to add simple things like notes and to-do lists to more advanced brainstorming boards and mood boards for my design projects. And Milanote is also collaborative, so I often review with clients inside of Milanote with my different design iterations and files. That way we have everything in one convenient place for our meeting. So if you're looking for a tool to map out and plan your creative ideas or projects, make sure you check out the link at the top of the description and sign up for Milanote. Next up, we have velvetine.fr, and this is Velvetine Type Foundry. I hope I pronounced that correctly. This one's got a lot of more experimental and unique and stylized fonts. A few that I've tried out from here are Sligoil. This one's nice and trendy. It's got those ink traps on it. So I think even Figma's website has an ink trap font that's very similar to that. Another one is VG5000. I like this one because it's got kind of a pixel art aspect to it. And another one is Grotesque, this broken S, and there's a few characters that I really like in this. So it's really good for like a minimal heading to make things stand out. But there's a ton of various typefaces and unique styles on here. At the bottom of the website, you can take a look at the full list of typefaces, as well as the contributors and designers that created these. On this site, I think they want you to credit the designer in the credits on your final project. Again, I recommend you check out the licensing for yourself just to double check that. Once you've found a type that you like, you can either download it in the bottom right corner or in the bottom left corner, you can click on the name, which will load up this page, which is very similar to what I liked about the first website I showcased, where you can test out the typography and take a look at this use in various different sections. So all of these are editable. And then at the bottom, you have the ginormous download button and then they also have a character set at the bottom if you'd like to take a look at each individual character. So definitely check out velvetine.fr. This one is the leagueofmovabletype.com. This one is another open source font foundry. This one doesn't have as big as a selection as the previous two, but it's still got that quality premium look to it with the typefaces that they do have. There's types in various different styles. This one I really wanna try out, it kinda looks like it was created with a brush pen. I might download that one after this video, but some that I've used here are Ostrich Sands. I really like how thin this type is. And I believe I've tried Railway. If this is the same one that I think is in Google Fonts library, could be a different one though. But there's still various different styles on here to take a look at. And when you want to test out the typography, you can just click on one of them and you got this nice big bold heading that you can edit. And you can choose the different weights down here at the bottom. You can see you get a preview even as you hover over them. Scrolling down, they have some of the features of the type, and they even have the glyphs down here at the bottom for a detailed look. And then you could download it down here in the bottom right corner. So again, that one was the leagueofmovabletype.com. 
Number four on today's list is open-foundry.com. This one even has a store if you'd like to check out some typography related merch. This one doesn't have a whole lot of experimental type that I've seen. Just really good and clean sans serif and serif typefaces. Again, another site that allows you to test out your typography and see how it looks before you download it. This one, you can change the background on it. You can set it to all caps and you can even change the color on the typography as well. Just click on the name of the font in the top left, loads up a design at the bottom, which uses that typeface in it. At the bottom, as you scroll down, they have the characters. So you can take a look at each individual character. And then finally at the bottom, there's a download link for that typeface. One of the typefaces that I wanna test out after this video is this Copper Hewitt Heavy. Looks really good, kind of like a magazine style heading. Of course, I've tried the Enter Black typeface. I recommend you check that one out. Nimbus Sands is another really good typeface that I've tried out as well. Another one I've tested out is Oswald Bold, and below that, they even have Poppins on here. So they've got a lot of curated fonts. So again, the website on this one was open-foundry.com. Last up on today's list is collectivo.it, and that's with three L's and three T's. This one is such a minimal design and it's really cool. Just a paragraph in the top left with a few links. And then they have this typefaces window that you can drag around. And then every time you click on a different typeface, it drags out this window where you can edit the text. You could change the size of it, change the color of the theme from a black background to a white. And then they've got a nice download button on there when you're ready to download that. It just automatically downloads it when you click on it. And so you can just keep opening up these different windows and dragging them around. So you could test out the same exact typography in multiple of these, have them side by side so you can get a good preview of which one you really like better. They've got these little stickers on them, like this is a variable font. So in Figma, you can use that new variable font slider on these. Some of the ones I've tested out on this site is the first one here, which is, I think it's Appfill Grotesque. Really good heading font that I like. I also tested out Necto Mono. And I really like this one on a button font when paired with something like Appfell for some bold headings. So as you can see, it's not a huge list of different typefaces. I do hope that they add a lot more, especially with the layout of this site and how you can use these windows to compare different typefaces at the same time. I really like the control of kind of moving this around similar to like moving it in a design tool. I think that's really cool. But even though there's only a few typefaces, I definitely recommend taking a look at these. That's collectivo.it, again, with that triple L and triple T in the name. And that's gonna do it for today's list. This year with a lot of designs utilizing experimental typography and testing out alignment with different type, it's got me really interested in changing things up instead of using my same typefaces over and over. So in doing so, I've discovered these websites and I just wanted to share them with you guys in today's video. So I hope you guys were able to find some awesome font resources that have some nice premium looking fonts that you can use in your projects for free. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a like. Thanks to Milanote for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to check out their product for planning your next creative project, check out the link at the top of the description. Subscribe for more design related content I upload every single week. In the meantime, for more content from me, check out these related videos. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.